Hello everyone and welcome to Mountain Lake Journal. I'm Tom Halley. This week, not one, but two potentially destructive invasive pests have been discovered in the Adirondack Park. An invasive beetle, the emerald ash borer, has been found for the first time inside the Adirondack Park. The DEC says signs of the emerald ash borer were spotted in Warren County along the Scroon River near Chestertown. The beetle is native to Asia. Its larvae eat the bark of ash trees and burrow into their trunks. According to the USDA, hundreds of millions of ash trees in North America have been killed by the emerald ash borer, first detected in western New York in 2009 and widespread just across the border in Quebec, the beetle moved into both Franklin and St. Lawrence counties four years ago. But the DEC says there were no detected infestations inside the Adirondack Park until now. Tamara Van Rijn, who is the manager of the Adirondack Park Invasive Plant Program, says they will be assisting the DEC in trying to determine how widespread the new infestation is. She says often firewood is how the emerald ash borer is spreading. She and the DEC are urging campers and residents to use local firewood instead of getting it from other areas that are already infested. The USDA trains forestry workers with municipalities and other groups combating the emerald ash borer on how to detect the beetle. They peel sections of bark off ash trees looking for signs of infestation. This training workshop was held on the Aquasasne Mohawk Reservation in Hogansburg, where the emerald ash borer was detected in 2016. We're still trying to get a handle on it. We're currently working with the St. Regis Mohawk Tribe on a sentinel trap tree project um, where um, we've helped their uh, environmental group to implement this project where they've girdled over 200 trees that are uh, essentially trap trees. Um, they do this in the springtime and, and then over the growing season it triggers a response in the tree which will draw in EAB, anything that's locally uh, into that tree to, to lay eggs and, uh, and larva will move through that tree. Um, later in the season, after the growing season, we drop those trees and peel them looking for larvae. Um, so it's helping us to get a better handle on the density of EAB in this community. It's not possible at this point to stop EAB. Um, what we're hoping is we can slow it down. Um, we can help slow the spread. Um, we do know that on its own, EAB moves at a rate of about two miles per year. Um, with human-assisted spread with firewood or other products, um, it can move a lot quicker and farther. Um, but what we're hoping is with outreach, um, a little bit of survey, and um, some biocontrol and other mitigating methods, we can help slow the spread. Along with peeling test trees to detect larvae, forestry experts are also using insecticides and even tiny wasps that feed on the beetle to try to control the spread. And for just the second time ever, the invasive hemlock woolly adelgid has been found inside the Adirondack Park. The DEC says the infestation was found on forest preserve lands near a campsite at the Glen Island Campground on the eastern shore of Lake George. A forestry expert found one heavily infested and two lightly infested eastern hemlock trees close to the campsite. Hemlock woolly adelgid is an insect native to Japan that spread to New York in the 1980s. The DEC says it has led to a widespread die-off of hemlocks in the southern Catskill Mountains. This is the second known infestation in the Adirondacks. The first was reported in a small stand of hemlocks in 2017 on Prospect Mountain in Lake George. The DEC says the infestation was eradicated with insecticides. As climate change leads to milder winters, experts are anticipating more rapid movement and increasing hemlock woolly adelgid populations. That's why groups of volunteers, like this one in the town of Bolton, have stepped up inspections of forest lands in hopes of detecting signs of the woolly adelgid early on. 